But one thing, my fellow Knicks fans, that we got to take into consideration when we get past the hype is that upcoming extension that Cam Reddish will be eligible for next season. And with us already having a tight rotation and just so little time in between him and his next extension, it's either we're going to pick up his team option and let him become a restricted free agent, or this leads me to believe that Leon Rose might have other moves up his sleeve before this year's trade deadline. Now, we got a deep lineup with a lot of young players at the end of that bench with some potential, but we don't have minutes for everyone. And when you combine that with two of the first round draft picks that we have, along with Detroit's second round pick, because that team is not gonna be a good basketball team going forward. So that second round draft pick, it might be valued a lot higher. When you combine all these things, we could be making a move to get RJ and Randall some help because having just all this potential and his good young talent on the bench, but a limit of just 48 minutes a game, it just doesn't make any sense. The Knicks aren't really in a position right now to be going into the draft over and over and over. They have enough key pieces along with draft picks and young players like RJ who need key contributors around him. They're in a nice position to keep moving up and making trades. That's why Leon Rose and World Wide West is here with all their connections. There will be no need for the Knicks to keep crowding up that bench with first round draft picks. We're not going to be able to pay everyone and fit everyone in a rotation. And it's about time now that we see the magic that Leon Rose and Worldwide West is going to work on them damn phones.